Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about creating a swap file on Linux. So let's get started. So I am actually using Ubuntu. From here, I'm going to click on activities, and within activities, I am going to start typing terminal, and we're going to click on terminal. Because uh, the majority of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to do everything on the terminal. Okay. So now by default, if you created Ubuntu or any Linux platform, I think it creates a swap file for you. When I created this virtual machine, it created a swap file for me. If you want to check if you have one, you do the following. So there's two commands. You could do a free with a parameter of dash H. When you hit enter, it should give you a... Uh, you know, a parameter that say swap the total, how much is used and how much you have left within your swap. Now, another one is swap on with a parameter of dash dash show. And if you hit enter, it will automatically just show you your swap file. So again, I already have one created, but I'm going to show you guys how to create another one. OK, so how to create a swap file. Pretty simple. This is the command that we need to run. Uh, we need to do a sudo with a double D. Uh, IF basically stands for input file equals to the following path. And OF is output path, which would be this, right? So my swap file is going to be called BTNHD swap. BS is going to be your block size. And the count is the amount of blocks that are going to be read and uh, read and write, right? Read and write. So this is the breakdown. Okay, IF is your input file, which I, this is what I'm using, dev zero. And your OF is your output file, which is going to be forward slash BTNHD swap or whatever name you want to give your swap. The BS is going to be the block size in bits. I'm giving it 1024. And the count is the amount of blocks to read and write. When you hit enter, you're most likely going to need to enter your password. So enter your password and boom, done. Now you could do an ls for slash and when you do that, which is going to show you your directory, you're going to see your new swap. Okay, for me I have two, which is swap file, and then the new one that I created with you guys right now, which is called BTNHD swap. Now how to prepare your swap file. So we're going to do the following. We're going to do a sudo mk swap with a forward slash and the name of the swap file that you just created. You're going to hit enter. You are going to get a insecure permission of 0644, 0600 suggested, right? We're going to fix that pretty soon, so don't freak out. Like I said, we're going to do it right away. We need to set the permissions. So the way you set the permissions is... Uh, they did recommend what type of permissions you should set it, which would be 600. So you are going to do a sudo chmod 600 and the name of your partition file, which for me was forward slash btnhd swap. Hit enter and you're done. We need to activate our swap file. So we need to do the following sudo swap on forward slash and the name of your swap file and then hit enter. Done. Next thing is we need to add our swap file into the fstab file. Pretty simple. So within your command, you need to do sudo gedit. That is the editor that I'm using to edit this particular file. Forward slash etc. Forward slash fstab. Hit enter and it opens up. Now the swap file that, you know, the installation created for me added the swap file uh, entry within the fstab file. So at the very end, I'm going to add mines. So this is what I added within that file. I'm going to save it, apply it, and I'm going to close it. So what's the breakdown? So the very first one is the file name, which is the path and the name of the swap file. I, I typically do tab to give it some space. The next is the mount point. Uh, there's no mounted file system, so just hit none or enter none. The type, which is going to be swap. The option, which is SW, this option tells Linux to treat the entry as a swap resource. And then the dump in the past, which I set it to zero because up to this point, I don't really need it. In between each entry, uh, I just hit tab, okay, to give it a nice little space. Now, next thing that we need to do is want to see it. So do a swap on with a parameter of dash dash show. 
and then you're going to see your new partition file. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to create a swap file within Linux. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Also make sure to subscribe and share out the video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.